Jim McNee just can't get over the mountains rising from his back door. When all else fails, all you have to do is look out of the window and you've got to feel better about everything. Feeling that good is worth holding on to, so Jim's recreating it in miniature, complete with the mountain view out back. Just about ready to go. Sit down and enjoy dinner and enjoy the view. In spirit and imagination, Jim McNee is five inches tall. But I would like to live in there. It's a... Uh, I think there's a little bit of a desire for escape in all of us. For Jim and his wife Joan, there is no escape, like the world of miniatures. And this is their fantasy house. Let's buzz at the front door. There are times when the big world gets to be a little trying, so we get into our little world then. I think a little bit of healthy fantasy is good for everyone. This little world is ten rooms filled with the stuff of our dreams. Sparkling chandeliers, real crystal and china on the table, canopy beds. This is really what we love. Joan McNee says there's just all kinds of pleasure in a miniature like this. Wow. The pleasure it gives other people, I think, and the pleasure we had building it and collecting it and doing it, and the people we met doing it, I think and the fantasy of wishing I was five feet tall, five inches tall and being able to live in here. <laughs> the McNee's fantasy house took two full years to build. They worked on it nearly every spare minute. Mm -hmm. This might interest you, those are toothpicks and beads. <laughs> the stairs. They certainly don't look like toothpicks. Now, Jim did all the watercolors here in the house. They are replicas, as you can see, of bigger paintings that he did for their real house. Sort of a play and he also sort of wired this little house and for music. Of doing that, uh, we found this old player piano and uh, arranged so that we could have some music while we were playing ping pong. <laughs> it's a great old sound. For Jim McNee, the fantasy of these houses has been good therapy because a heart attack forced him to retire. He loves working on them, and in his latest project here, Jim is just finishing up hanging a chandelier. This is where the excitement of miniatures comes in. Oh, really? <laughs> you never know whether these things are going to work or not until you plug them in. Voila! Success! This miniature will be entered in the prestigious Philadelphia Flower Show. Now, a few years ago, Jim and Joan won second place in that show with this miniature, a scene from Nantucket Island. The buildings are copies of actual buildings on Nantucket Island. Uh, we tried to simulate the cobblestone walks. And What'd you use for the cobblestone? Uh, good old navy beans. Joan did all the needlework. You know, it's not hard to picture yourself five inches tall, is it? Strolling here on the cobblestones. And that's just what Jim McNee likes to do with his miniature that? fantasies. I think I would like to be there. I would like to visit there, not necessarily stay there, but I'd like to go there sometime. So in as much as I have it in miniature, I can go as often as I want. If you would like to see more classic episodes of Carolina Camera, check out Time Warner Cable's Carolina On Demand, channel 199 or 1047.